Hey guys, Underground Geek here. And uh, on this review, I've been getting a lot of requests to do um, a to totally awesome Hulk review, or as well I like to call him Brogurt, or uh, Yogurt Hulk, or Bro Hulk, or uh, Totally a Loser Hulk, things like that. So I wanted to do a review on one. This is the only one I could find because, really and truly, honestly, the comic book store where I live has just flat out stopped ordering half of what Marvel has because it sucks. So, I mean, I just can't get it. I'd have to special order it. And I'm not gonna special order a comic book just to rip it, you know? So, uh, I started out wanting to rip this one and then I, I decided to give it a chance, you know? Uh, but it's a Totally Awesome Hulk number six. And I was interested in it because of the cover. Uh, I thought it was very funny. Uh, might be pretty interesting to have Thor in this comic book, so. So we get an introduction right here that's pretty sorry introduction. I mean, you can't even tell what's going on. You you look at this page, you look at this page, and you thought that this all went together. Like, you can't even tell that this is an introduction or anything. Like, you start to tell, hey, they did the coloring, they did the lines, they did the writing. But it's like, I can't understand what's going on. And then we have Hulk created by Stan Lee and Jack, Jack Kirby, and they would be very upset about this if they found out about this story. Well, Stan Lee already knows about it, but he doesn't care. He's old. So we break right into the action right here. We've got uh, Thor standing in front of uh, Cho and Sister Cho. And uh, they introduce themselves here. It says the, the Mighty Thor, Mighty Mad. <laughs> and uh, it says Amadeus Cho, AKA the Totally Awesome Hulk. Yeah, okay. Maddie Cho, his genius sister, Mission Control. Okay, so why is she a genius? I thought he was a genius. Why does, he, why does he need her? He could just do everything himself. Isn't he a genius? Okay. So anyway, she's trying to find out why he uh, has done has worked for Enchantress, and he's trying to tell her that he he blacks out when he turns into the Hulk sometimes, and the Enchantress took advantage of that and had him do stuff. So she picks a little Cho up, starts manhandling him because she's a man, and. Uh, He's trying to tell her, hey, I blacked out. I don't understand what was going on. So he throws, or she throws him like a, a rag doll. And she's like, no, Amadeus. So the art in this comic book is okay, but the facial expressions are like terrible. All right, for example, I'll show you this right here. He's kind of like, I don't know if he's like gonna have a seizure or what. Then we got her where she's supposed to have an expression, but she's totally just solid. And then she looks like a man in that picture. But anyway, um, so it says, uh, dang, I thought uh, the Hulk was supposed to be the one out of control, huh? Uh, it says, tell me, monster, what does a more scheme? And see, so he's trying to tell her still. I don't remember, I don't remember. So uh, this is pretty funny right here, and I'm gonna remember this next time. And he stayed the same <clears throat> Hulk. He says, uh, I prefer Chulk. I'm gonna remember that. He's now Chulk. He's Brogurt Hulk Chulk. And uh, so it says, but he's a hero. Whatever he did for more, he got it. He's got to have a good reason for it. Right, Amadeus? Solemn face. No expression. Makes no sense. So we're on the next page here. We get a decent design here. Uh, I was a little confused because it didn't really tell me what was going on, but it's this secret Dwarven outpost. Okay, so we're in Iceland. It says it's supposed to have damage here, but I don't really understand. Is this supposed to be damage? I mean, they don't really show any damage. This looks like an old castle. And the little dwarf guy's mad because uh, apparently uh, the Hulk broke in here and stole some of the metal that they used to make uh, Thor's hammer with and gave it to Enchantress. So... They're going back and forth about that. Uh, and immediately, immediately the sister starts jumping all over this dwarf guy. And I didn't really like that. Uh, she says, yeah, and why are you here anyway? If this stuff is as dangerous as you say, you're endangering everyone on this planet. Calm yourself, Matty Cho. And she just keeps going off on him, keep going off on him. And she says, this is America. And he's like, actually, this is Iceland. Iceland, whatever. So a genius wouldn't talk like this. A genius would be socially awkward because uh, they're geniuses. They don't think on the same level. 
So that doesn't really make sense that they talk like this when they're supposed to be geniuses. Uh, says, I'm trying to defend you here, dude. Yeah, if she's got the hammer, that means she's worthy. Oh, uh, well, that's up to speculation. All right, so we got the Dark Elves here uh, making weapons, and they kind of look like orcs. But uh, let's see here. All right, so we got the Enchantress here. She's drawn pretty well. I like the way she's drawn. Uh, the Dark Elves are drawn pretty good. They kind of look like uh, uh, orcs from California. They got those tribal tats. Uh, so they've got their weapons now that they've made them out of Uru. Uru. Uh, so then we got Bro Hulk and or Chulk and uh, Lady Thor coming in here. And uh, it says, Deceiver, traitor, and thief, prepare yourself for the mightiest wrath of Asgard and Midgard. Ditto on that. Oh, God. Ah, uh, Thor, you found my monster. I was wondering where he'd run off to. I kind of like her dynamic. I like the way she does, where she's almost like a, it's her plaything. But uh, it says, he is no longer under your spells, Amora. I'll never be your king. Then let's fight a little, and then we'll see what your better half has to say about it. She's probably written the best out of the story. She has the best lines, I think, because she has very few of them. So they're going into their fight here, and it, there's not really that good of, of fights drawn. I mean, it's just kind of a lot of falling and things like that. Uh, they're bunching up on him, and he says, what the heck, you know, these these weapons are forged from the stone. He's, but he's not really getting hit by the weapons. He's getting, like, his eyes clawed out and stuff. I mean, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And all of a sudden, he's got a cut, and it didn't really say anything. I guess it was from this weapon. It says, Hulk, retreat. And so all of a sudden, he turns back into human, and he's retreating. And she's like, what are you doing? And I said, I did not say shrink down and die. There's a typo right there. Say, it says stay. You're supposed to be the strongest one there is. Dude, you're the one all talking mighty this, mighty that. Dude, you know, you know, bro. So is he a genius or is he a bro? I don't understand. Uh, Amadeus, what are you doing? Maddie, you're supposed to wait in the truck. Nobody's doing what they said they were supposed to do. Panic, panic. I know, I know, I just feel, just give me a second. So we've got more fighting going on here. The, Thor's doing all the fighting because they're, they're having a little chat and everything. And uh, uh, she says, uh, what made you black out? What did Enchantress do? Uh, he's talking about his parents died and I guess it was his sort of his fault. Uh, so we got more of the storyline here and he says he's sorry. Uh, so says, I'm so sorry, Maddie. I just, if I, I just won that stupid brain game competition. Well, I kind of doubt that. Uh, that's what you're always yelling at me, telling me to focus, stay in control. You're never going to forgive, and you shouldn't. And uh, we kind of, she kind of says, you know, man up, uh, use your rage on Enchantress. So he turns back into the Hulk. And we have this split scene right here, and it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I don't really, like, so I guess he had the wheel, and the Hulk took the wheel, which is kind of counterintuitive to what we were talking about before. And anyway, he's on the wrong side. So we, we were on this side, now we're skipping, I guess the Hulk's in the passenger seat, and he grabs over. But if he was grabbing over like this, you would see his body, because it's the right hand. But anyway, nothing makes sense in Hulk anyway, so. She says, ah, oh, that looks like the monster I know. Now come. And she gives him this really cool axe. Kind of reminds me of uh, World War Hulk. So he gets it and he's like, ha 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 ha. She's like, oh my god. And she says, no. So then he's cracking the weapon down, which he's hitting the, the dark elves. So that should be kind of be an inkling to what's happening. He's mine once again. Ha 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 ha. I, he says, don't worry, Thunderpants, I got this. Ha! Huh. What? Yep. I mean, I, I guess this was supposed to be funny. This was cutting scenes like this. What? Huh? Huh? What? Yep. But you could have added something a little bit different. They said, don't worry, Thunderpants, I got this. And she said, kid, she could have said something like, uh, OMG, yes. And then she should say, you know, what is the reason for this? Or something like that. Or, or what's the meaning of this? And he could say, it's on or something like that, you know, instead of, yep, what, ha, I don't know, that's just me. 
So we got a pretty cool scene of him cracking the, hand, the axe down here. He's like, you want me to put the axe down? God, oh, smack, ooh, ooh, there's a female dark elf. I don't know if I've ever seen a female dark elf because of diversity. Uh, he says, your turn now. So I guess she's supposed to smack her hammer. And uh, Hulk Green Ward, once in the future master of the 10 rounds, look into my eyes and then we have a advertisement. It says, uh, can it lady, I know who I am. She says, dang straight, it's over. Ooh, you, you, you ingrate. Oh, that was embarrassing. I was gonna give you everything you wanted, everything you, you never had, a round of rule, power and glory. And so this must be like one of the most powerful tasers ever because she zaps her with it. And it hurts her and enchanters, I think, I think it's pretty strong. Curses on you and all your clan. So we got this like Saturday morning cartoon type deal where they defeat the bad guy but she gets away kind of stuff happening here. What if, oh God, cringe. Well, well, you did it. She should have said, well, well, thou has done it. You know, that would make more sense to me, but okay. That's right. Give me some of that, Chulk. Uh -huh. So he has to hand the weapons back over to the dwarves because dwarves. And uh, I don't know I don't know about this dwarf right here. Look at the drawing of that dwarf. I don't know. It's kind of a little strange. But anyway, so she's saying her goodbyes. And what's weird is we cut right to them going to... Uh, the tomb to see the family that was that had died and she just says he says Maddie she says shut up and she starts crying and then that's it like that just ends abruptly I mean okay like very abrupt it's almost like hey we gotta hurry up in this I don't know that was a little bit too much for me a little, a little abrupt of ending um, I give this comic like a five out of 10. The art's okay. The expressions are a little weird. Like this right here makes sense because he's getting the crap knocked out of him. That one's drawn okay. She looks all right. It looks more like a man, but she looks, at least she's got boobs. I mean, they're metal, but she's, at least she's got them. This right here was embarrassing. I would have never done this. Some of this art's pretty good, but you can tell that there was multiple artists working on this. Uh, and this is just sad, I mean. They need to work on this stuff. But anyway, y'all want me to roast one, so here it is. It's roasted. Hot and ready for dinner. But uh, 5 out of 10, tell me what you think. Tell me what else you want me to roast next. And uh, give me a, a, a like and hit the dinger so you can get all my uh, videos when I post them. But all right, guys, this is Underground uh, Geek out. Bye.